Hello, so Kelly. Welcome back to my channel and to a new studio vlog. Uh, so today's vlog is going to be a little bit of a week of crafting in my life. I'm gonna kind of share with you a little bit uh, of what I do every day to kind of keep this beautiful hobby <laughs> going. Some days are challenging and some days I just want to craft all day. So we'll see how this week goes. Um, so today is a Monday and I'm just excited to work on new projects. So I wanted to give you a little update on the red book that I shared with you on the last vlog. So I show you that I did a tutorial for this book that I was going to use for one of my class kits and then I started thinking because I was looking at the collection and I realized I have a whole other idea to work on for that book and so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to use the tutorial that I recorded for this red book and turn it into a bonus tutorial for my YouTube channel members. Always good to have an 8x8 tutorial on hand so super easy like layout and as you can see I already started adding some paper because then I did a part two so continuing for that from that a tutorial that I recorded for this book I did a technique video which is another membership level here on my youtube channel and I started adding some easy pop-up elements or just dynamic elements to add onto your books like 3d pages let's say after you do your mini album and you want to just go and add different layouts to make your book a little bit more interesting and more dynamic so i did that and so for this book i ended up using or i am using the sweet peppermint collection i think it's called by prima it's an older collection that i had on my stash so i'm just trying to also go through my stash of paper so i'm trying to use all of those here is that collection that i'll be using it's called the sweet peppermint um and again i don't know when this is from but this is an a4 collection that i had um, and i just love the vintage um you know images and the vintage colors and of course all the reds goes perfect for this book so right now i'm just gonna sit and edit these two videos the bonus tutorial and the special add-ons technique tutorial today i'm just gonna edit those videos and have them ready for my youtube members so they can probably watch hopefully i'll be posting those soon sometimes editing is easy sometimes it takes me a long time especially when i recorded that video a few days ago i yeah i have to like rewatch the whole thing instead of just like knowing exactly where you know the editing parts need to be but anywho that is the goal for the day and let's get to it as i was editing i actually just received some happy mail and i wanted to do a quick share because it's just so sweet so my dear friend anna she is lace boutique one on etsy and also anna's wonderland here on youtube um she sent me this sweet note um and you know like i just love it so much thank you so much anna she's so amazing creating journals i actually follow her on patreon and she always does like really cute things and really fun and easy like journaling layouts tutorials type of thing and she just sent me some really cute happy mail so look at this little frame with some vellum i love this idea uh she brought me the sweetest sweetest note so thank you so so much anna for your friendship i appreciate you so so much and look how she folded this leather here so cute right and then also she added like the tiniest little paper paper clip um and then some embossed of gold paper so pretty and then she sent me a sample of her washi tape so she just made her own line of washi tape i think it's um i think it might be the second time she does her washi tape so they're just so beautiful and so vintage i love them so much um and i think the collection is called Ula la so i'm gonna link it below or i'm gonna have the um her etsy below and she also sent me her washi tape <laughs> so exciting you guys Let's see if i can open this really 
quick for you. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how pretty this washi tape. This is probably the prettiest washi tape I'm seeing because it just kind of looks like wallpaper. Like, you know, like the very antique wallpaper. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And I love the matte look wow anna this is amazing look at this oh my gosh this one's gorgeous i love it look at this one wow paris um and just looks like like those seals oh so cute to kind of just like rip in little sections and put them in your journal so thank you so much anna for sending me your beautiful washi tape these are so so pretty congratulations and i'm gonna link her store below you guys so you guys can check it out and support a fellow crafter guys so back at the craft room so today is tuesday and it is hot you guys i've been driving everywhere because tuesdays is the day my daughters have volleyball and one of them already finished the season but the other one is still going to practice because she still has one more tournament <laughs> this weekend so i'm still running all over the place so i am back at the studio and i'm about to start a new video class so this is the all around christmas so this is the collection that i was going to use the red book for um and i love the red book but i kind of wanted to do something more like house shape because this collection i realized it has a lot of like house images like living rooms and kitchens and bathrooms and like rooms and things like that so i want to do like a little christmas dollhouse type of book and i am just super excited so let's get crafting headlights on the highway if you only knew being back here Always makes me think of you When the world is sleeping Do you think of me? With the road of lights Come back again Come back to me yeah. I remember I wanted to share with you The look at the base I love it it's so pretty so it took me a while to figure out which papers to use and how I was gonna do like this house I want it to feel like a full mini album just with a house shape so I went ahead and did hinges for this as well so I am going to be working on the pages next but look at how pretty so this is just a simple um cover the base cover uh, i'm still gonna add some more details to these of course and then on the back i just went ahead and use this page here that has kind of like the map of the entire house what is cool about this collection is that each one of these rooms kind of has their own little page so each one of the pages is going to be a different room so today is wednesday we made it to halfway through the week i guess and today was one of those days where i was just feeling really low um in energy i don't think i slept well last night but also just like really missing my mom like i know i miss it all the time i just woke up with this feeling of like you know feeling uneasy and stay with me the whole time so one of those days you guys but anyway we have crafting to kind of get us through some of these things um, and so today i'm going to continue working on that christmas house album i always want my projects to go like super fast i'm always motivated and have ideas on what to do but uh, i never just find like the perfect time to record um so this morning i actually had to go to the dentist because last week i got a crown and it was so uncomfortable and so i finally called the doctor and i called him yesterday he told me today to go and to just you know he was gonna look at it so they did some things and fixed it so it feels better but i'm in pain like i'm just uncomfortable just like the whole day it's been like that uh then came home finished some meetings i work from home today and um and i'm tired you guys i'm tired um, i do have to go to the school because we have like a parents meeting in about half an hour but i just wanted to stop and say hi to the vlog and 
show you my little journal I've been working on today. So I keep journals for everything. I have a million planners. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I'm very hyper when it comes to like documenting things. I love to have multiple ways of memory keeping, but also like, I don't know, I just enjoy the whole part of it. Will I ever go back and read this? Probably. I really enjoy flipping through the pages of my journal. Um, but, you know, it just makes me happy when I'm doing it. And so this is actually my reading journal for 2023, which is last year. I am not done like adding the descriptions of like the last books. I think I stopped in September-ish. Yeah, so for September, I don't have like anything. So usually I print the picture um, cover of the book that I'm reading. I put the title, the author, the genre, and then I do like a little description of the book and I do a little decor. So let me show you previous pages. And I just wanna get this one finished, you guys, because I was looking at this last night and I was like, you know, maybe this is something that I should finish. And so I can start my new reading journal for this. 2024. So I have to go to my Goodreads and like figure out what I read on November and December and just finish working on this. So I just wanted to show it to you because it's a little bit of like kind of like accountability. Like I feel like if I share this with you, I mean I have somebody to share that this is what I'm working on <laughs> and you guys should probably hold me to it and say did you ever finish that journal? So, because I really do want to finish it. I have journals for every year. Started, I think I started on 2020. And so I just don't want to, you know, lose that because I just love going back and going through my books. I just enjoy doing this. So that is something that I am going to really be working on this week. So maybe today, maybe tonight, I'll just sit down on my computer and finish printing all the books that I read and just take some time to do. It takes a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie. But what I want to do is kind of go to like a coffee shop and just sit down and, and do my reading journal. Hey guys, so it is later on the evening. It is around nine o'clock right now. And so please excuse the face. The school meeting was so... Like, I think it was so beneficial for us, uh, parents. I mean, just like kind of connecting with my daughter. The meeting was all about like colleges and like the selection and like, you know, like the suggestions that they have on how to apply and how many and which types like you have to like, I don't know, kind of like see how many UCs you're going to apply, how many states, you know, and private, like, it just gives you a good breakdown of like the odds of what to choose and it's just like a good guidance and um i love the school like the, it makes the kids do like presentations about like what career path they want to take and um and so i just love it it was like a good connection on like because they did the school presentation and then there was a time that you are like just personally talking to your kid and honestly we talk about it but we never have this like one-on-one -on -one time to do it and we're just sitting there and just super excited about you know it's so motivational even my daughter told me it was so motivational for her to you know like get my opinion and talk to me about it and all of that so it was a good good time. I came home and I sat on my comfy chair and finished my crochet project. So I have it right here and I'm gonna give you a look because this turned out so cute. A lot more than what I was expecting and especially today. I think today is one of those days where I really needed like a big hug. Look at this beautiful like monster it's supposed to be a sea creature i just finished her eyelashes because she's sleeping her name is nessie so this one is a powder uh pattern that i bought on etsy i can link it below how massive she is and she's like the best hugger 
Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna sleep with her today. Look how cute, and then she has this really long tail. So I still have to finish some details, like putting something at the end of her tail. I don't know yet what I'm gonna put. I could put a heart or, you know, just a fuzzies or something. And then the pattern also calls for like these little spikes. And um, I will probably be doing that, but today I just went ahead and added her hand and then her big long feet and then of course put her ears on because i finished the ears last night i know this is not a crochet channel but you know it's all about hobbies and <laughs> being happy so that's her cute little face so she turned out super super big and cute so another thing that i'm gonna do with her i'm using this bernard blanket yarn which is sort of fuzzy a little bit, but what she suggests you do on the tutorial is kind of like brush it with one of those like um, metal spike brushes, kind of like for dog hair when they're really tangled <laughs> and she will get like a little bit fuzzier. So I probably will be doing that as well. Just so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love her. So I did a little bit of crafting before i went to this school meeting because i thought the meeting was at five but it was actually at 5 30 and so i had a little bit of time to finish this first page here so i did pages one and two and i just want to continue working on these i don't know how much i'll do because i also want to go and take a shower and like i said last night i did not sleep well so today is going to be an early night for me hopefully i'll get better sleep so it is thursday and i'm just getting off of work it's around five o'clock and i decided i'm going to stop by michael's really quick because first i need car stock to continue working on my projects i need blank um just like heavyweight car stock and then also I wanted to start a new yarn project since I finished my little Nessie and I wanted just to look at some yarn and just this stress <laughs> for a little bit so let's go. Just anyone, I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby And I'm 
thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Hey guys, happy Friday. As if I tell you I need a break, I am not even kidding. So this morning, Cross went to school and I got right into my computer because I had bits due today. So I had to get everything prepared for that. And also I had to work on my like performance yearly review and kind of do a bunch of like updates on my goals and summaries and just kind of, you know, present yourself and say everything that you did um, and whatnot. So I thought it was going to take me an hour and I have been sitting in the computer from nine <laughs> until now. It's about three o'clock right now. And I just finished. I wanted to take a minute and update the vlog because I need a little bit of energy. And for some reason, when I am talking to you guys, I get energy instead of me just like giving up in life and <laughs> going to the couch. Um, but anyway, so yesterday I wasn't able to do any crafting. Uh, I was kind of tired. I haven't been sleeping good and it just kind of cut up on me. So yesterday I went to bed early. I was doing a little bit of my reading journal. I went to my Goodreads and printed out, like copy the images of the books that I finished reading last year printed those out and it was super relaxing so I highly suggest that you do that if you love to read and keep some sort of journal um, because it took me probably an hour to copy all the books from my Goodreads to you know the document where I combine them all to print but it was so relaxing to do and then I cut them put them on my journal and then when I went to bed I was just laying down watching tv and trying to write the summaries for the books at least the ones that i remember so i still need to finish that but anyway so today i really really want to finish this book here so i still need to work on two more pages tomorrow we're going to hunt on the volleyball tournament so unfortunately i won't be here to craft which is making me really sad because I thought I was going to be done with this Christmas book by now and actually move right into the next project, which is probably not going to happen, but that's okay. So it is now six o'clock and I wanted to give you an update on my progress making this book. So I created the next two pages and this took me almost two hours <laughs> to complete. I was just, you know, waking up uh, from being in the computer for too long and also just, I you know, I didn't have any ideas. I was coordinating, coordinating with my girls because they had a school festival today. So they just stay after school. I actually went to pick them up and all they wanted from me was money, of course, <laughs> because they had the festival and works out for me because I usually don't craft at this time and I didn't have to worry about like food and any of that. So I was over here having a good time 
crafting alone um, but right now we are actually getting ready because we're going to the city to a concert as this is why you see my hair <laughs> i just blow dry my hair and so yeah we're gonna head out and just enjoy a fun time together so there's this singer that we love she is from chile but her music you know spanish music and we just love her so much her name is mon laferte so if you know who i'm talking about i love you because <laughs> she's like my favorite and we go see her every single time she comes and the all the four of us go because it's just so much fun Hey guys, good morning, happy Saturday. So today is the day of the tournament. So I woke up early to just get some things ready around the house and to hopefully do a little crafting before we go because the tournament is not until the afternoon. So technically we don't have to leave the house until noon. And maybe I can get the last page going on this book. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the concert because it was so amazing. So we were sitting on the floor section, but kind of like at the end of the floor section. And when it was was like some of the songs that you like kind of stand up <laughs> my me and my daughter one of my daughters were like kind of like squishing to the front I was just following her and so she can get like a good picture and she was recording so we get there and then the security guy told us you know you guys have to like sit down when everybody sits down I'm like, of course <laughs> so we went back and sat down and then towards like the end she was like mom let's go let's go and I said well you know, they're going to kick us out. I said, just let's not do it. <laughs> let's not do it anymore. And then so we walked in towards the front-ish a little bit. And um, the security guy comes closer to us. And I'm like, here it is. Here's the moment when I get kicked out of the show. <laughs> I don't get to see the end of it. And the guy was like, there's some empty seats in the front. Because I guess somebody left early. So he gave us those seats. <laughs> so we went and watched the remaining from the first row so I call that being pretty lucky so it was super super fun and amazing just having that you know like being in the concert and kind of get out of the your normal routine to begin with and this is the music that me and my girls always are singing in the car and just being there and just letting go and i was crying of course i cry for everything but i was just so emotional everything makes me emotional <laughs> but i was extra emotional being there and just not thinking of my mom but happy times happy emotions and yeah so i come to realize nothing ever will be fully happy so i've learned to kind of hope i'm hope i'm not making it not making this part of the vlog sad it is happy but it's a different happy where i wish i can you know share this moments with my mom i know like every time we go to these concerts we come back and just tell her all about it so that's the part where i wasn't like you know like it kind of hit me but then the realization also hit me that now my mom is here with us on this concert watching us probably sitting with us probably sending us front seats you know on the concert like 
that has never happened to us so i just call that signs of the universe and signs of my mom maybe she was there and that's her way to tell us you know i'm here with you and just come watch with me on the front row <laughs> so anyway happy happy times and so i am gonna try to craft the last page for this book i'm in a good mood my leg is in pain but i'm in a good mood and hopefully i get to work on these before we go to the tournament and yeah life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Hey guys, so it has been a couple hours, I have glue everywhere I just finished the last two pages and I love how this turned out. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of the last page because I just love it. Look at this. Oh, I love it. It says all around the Christmas tree and then each one of these little tags that I created is a kind of like a little ornament around the Christmas tree but for example it's kind of like a little daily so if you take out let's see day number seven um, you can see in here what happened on day number seven of course it's empty but you're supposed to be putting your Christmas memories uh, kind of like a December daily you can put a little picture or write down like something that you did something that you read something that you remember uh, but each one of these days has a little um, tag attached to it so you can put a little memory and then at the center we have the last you know you can put a picture here for like the 25th um, so super fun but this took me forever to finish and now we gotta get going so you are not gonna be able to see the book final look of this book and honestly neither am i because i'm gonna have to put this project on haul until we get back from our you know tournament weekend anyway i hope that you guys enjoy spending a little bit of the week with me and see you know how i try to craft a little bit each day not every day is a project sometimes crafting can just simply be you know working on my journal or doing something different gluing some stickers i think definitely makes me happy relaxes me i love seeing a project come together some projects take longer than others uh, but they're all super special and yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see you on the next one <laughs>